we're back. We're back. But only because we're on reading week. Yeah, it, that's pretty much it. So for those of you that don't know, we posted on our Instagram yo that we are doing a QA. and a And if you're not following us and it sucks to be you, you missed this, but you should follow us in the future so you know. For the next one. And turn on your post notifications. We don't post that often actually, so you won't get like super spammed out. I try my best to post like once a week, but like sometimes I just forget that it Yeah, exists. it just, yeah. When was the last time we did a QA? Well, we did the back to school one, but that was a snapshot. That doesn't count. And it's it was also a back bit, to school. It was a bit wonky. It's not about anything except back to school. Like, when was the last time we did a QA about us? Was that that time like before and the North? Before we did. Before the cosplay picnic that Bella danced in. So that was like when I cosplayed Nath that year. And I did, I did, um, Kaneki. Like wow, almost two years, years ago. ago. Guys, wow. the last time we did a Q&A was literally almost two years ago. So we have the questions down in front of us. So if you see us like looking down like this, that means because A, we both can't see. Um, and also just a quick disclaimer, obviously we'd love to answer every single one of your questions and we do appreciate everyone that left us a question, but just due to time and the sake of this video being maybe a little bit boring because some of the questions are a little bit repetitive from the ones we've answered in the past and it, this video would just be like four hours long. But our last Q&A was in two parts and each part was like almost 20 Yeah, because we, we like, it was our just first it. time we tried to answer all of them. We're going to try and like rapid fire go through as many as we can. CC Tori asks, if you could bring one of your waifus to life, who would it be and why? Oscar. My waifu for waifu. Like, realistically? Titty waifu? No, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Like, I'd be scared. Like, I'd be like, I can't talk to you. I'd probably say, like, Moogie, because she's very sweet, and I feel like she would just be like, you'd be able to get along with her. I'd be like, hey. I think it, the world would be a better place if Moogie came yeah, back to life. Yeah, came, came back to life. Came back to life. She, <laughs> from the she just like came down as God. I am God all along. <laughs> okay, so Autumn Narrows asked, what's your favorite trait of the cosplay community? I would have to say probably like everyone for the most part is super accepting. And they're also really friendly. Yeah, they are. And like you can easily like bond over things because you all share one thing in common. Like. We made, especially recently, we made so many friends like in the cosplay community. Just like they were just like out of nowhere, like they just showed up. They were just jumped in. And they're like, "Hey, y'all!" My favorite part about the cosplay community is how friendly people are and how like open to friendship. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, probably. And like, just everyone's really accepting. No one really judging each other. It's just kind of like sort of. It's like half and half. Well, when you surround yourself with good people, yeah. there are always rotten apples in every community. Unfortunately, generally, I find that the like Canadian or like the Toronto cosplay community is like pretty chill. Like they're not too crazy, you know what I mean? So Silver's Cosplay asks, if you could own any animal as a pet, what would it be? A pig. You can own a pig as a pet. Out of every animal in the world, you would just want a pig. Yeah, a pig. I really want a pig. I've never seen a pig in real life actually. Really? And I'm like obsessed with pigs. That's so sad. It's tragic, I know. <laughs> if I could have any animal in the world as a pet, I would either have, I would I would want a red panda. Ooh. I really love her. Guys, if you really love us and we open a PO box, you would send us a pig. I'm just saying. <laughs> you if you really loved us, you would. <laughs> so it was like if any of you guys live on a farm, send me a pig. <laughs> no, actually don't, because I wouldn't be able to care for it properly. Okay, so this question asks us if we it's by Silver Fountain Cosplay, if we would live anywhere else besides Canada, but I think feel like at this point you guys should know that we want to live in Japan. So, so next question. <laughs> next question. So Tara Tara Kun period underscore asks. What K-pop group got you guys into K-pop? Mine would be Big Bang. I always casually listen to K-pop, but Shiny is the group that made me like really into K-pop. Okay, <laughs> so Trip Ball Bun Bun asks, if you could go en to any con, which one would you go to? I have two at the moment. World Cosplay Summit. We already went to World Cosplay. I know, but I want to go again. <laughs> and Katsukon. Katsukon and Supernova. Yeah, Supernova. I, would... I want to meet Will-O-Wisps. We're coming for you, Becca. Okay, okay so Neo Victorian 252 asks, what was your favorite and least favorite cosplay? <sighs> my favorite cosplay was my Naif cosplay and my least favorite cosplay, probably my Chibi Moon cosplay. I really hated that. Yeah, was... my favorite cosplay probably was Strength. 
Ooh. Oh, my other favorite cosplay was the Ginkgo and Lulu. Yeah, yeah that, that spirited away. Actually, that, that was a good too. year. That last year was last a anime North was a good anime North. <laughs> and my least favorite, to be honest, like I feel like a lot of like your cosplays have always been pretty decent. Not even that. Like, like I've just enjoyed like I was. What about like, your Azumiya? Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> but that was like you still look cute. It's just your wig kept falling down. And I was like, <laughs> oh god. Okay, so you has never had a bad cosplay. No, I have. Trust me. But also too, like even even at the times, even if the cosplays were bad, I still really enjoyed it. And I was going through like different stages of my life, right? So like, it's kind of like I know what you mean. My Digara cosplay, that's one of my favorite cosplays, even though it's horrifying. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where it's like... I was it was so bad at, that it was good. It was good at the time, I liked it, so like... So, Rachel Derby asks, Do you think you'll still watch anime when you're old and gray? Probably. I Probably, know. I mean like, I don't want to say yes. It might not be as much as it, I did when I was a young person, but like, to be honest, I don't think that this is something that's just gonna leave anytime yeah. soon. So, it, just, it depends on what direction anime takes, you know what I mean? It also, too, just like... I don't know, I'm just, I mean, I, I don't think that I think even if, head. I know, like, I think even if I don't watch anime when I'm older, I'll always, like, I'll still like I'll it. I'll still really love it. I feel like, I feel like I won't watch anime, but I'll still watch, like, old Studio Ghibli movies. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. And, like, maybe the Odd Sailor Moon episode just exactly. for the sake of it. Like, for example. Like the nostalgia ones. My mom is an Anglophile, so she's really obsessed with England. And I remember when she was younger, she would always watch English dramas with her mom. And even to this day, she's still really obsessed with England, watches English dramas all the time. So I always kind of think of that. I'm like, maybe... It's not going to go away. It just doesn't kind of leave. Like, it just... Especially now that we're older and we have more buy power. I and like, like resources to like get the things yeah, that we like... want. So I feel like it's just going to get worse and worse. I feel like that is going to be hard to explain to our kids. You can just see what that's over there. Here's a picture. <laughs> so another question from Rachel. So... You talked about your favorite anime before, but what about your least favorite anime? Now this is like a tough one because I don't really have Sword Art Online, Attack on Titan, Homestuck. Kidding. Homestuck's not. Anime. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Immediately, like all the Homestuck fans are just like, what you say? <laughs> School Days made me really uncomfortable. The one where she just oh, chopped up his head and put it in a bag. I don't like Higurashi either. I can't watch like the scene where like punch your fingernails off. Like, yeah. I can't watch that. But that's oh. just because of the gore. I know. I just don't like it. I don't, I don't know why I'm like looking at it. I don't know. Maybe it's something back here that I don't like. I don't like Love Live. Love Live is <laughs> my least favorite anime. That's I don't strange. know. I don't really have. Oh, anything. I also don't really like One Piece. Sorry. Don't come for me. <laughs> All right. So just Peachy Momo is asking us if we would do K-pop dances or covers in cosplay. No. <laughs> So Shokushu underscore asked, favorite convention moment? Question mark. Ah, <sighs> this is a really tough question because like literally all of our our like convention story videos. Like, and I don't want to all... get too into it right now and ramble, mm -hmm. but those are some really. There have been a lot, ones. yeah. There have been some good ones. I think one of my favorite memories is when we were. It was our one of the first Anime Norths where we were damn cosplay girls at the time, and we were walking through the dealer's room. I was in my shitty Chibi Moon cosplay. And someone stopped us and they were like, oh my god, are you guys dumb cosplay girls? Right? That was the first time someone had ever recognized us Ooh. and I was... That was me. Stop it. <laughs> I think one of my favorite convention moments was when, um, we were talking about this earlier, I think we also mentioned this in a convention stories, but we, it was like right after we had performed doing a dance and it went really, it went, it was something else. And we were like with hot dogs walking through the parking lot and we're all just kind of like, mm -hmm. so we're singing saying. like do re mi from like, Dumb, uh, a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sound from the sound of music, and then all of a sudden this herd of dudes dressed in like full on rainbow. Spandex. It was rainbow Ra morph suits. Yeah, morph suits ran by. Was like, yeah, I, I feel, and, and they're just, just running. We're all running. And we just with skipped the... together and sang with them, and it was it was good. That was really fun. It was pure. It was very pure. A miss a a miss and as oh my god most what? embarrassing convention moment. Do you both have any plans on going abroad, and if so, where? Okay. Question. So, so the Mind first me. part was embarrassing convention stories. I don't think the World Cosplay Summit counts, but when we were on the bus going to the onsen for the World Cosplay Summit, there was a girl and the Team Mexico, and she, we were, I was freaking out because I, back then I had lots of anxiety, and she was like saying something to me in Spanish, and then she said Juan. And I thought she said Juan, oh, but she was saying Juan, like the name, like J-U-A-N, and she was like Juan, and I was like Juan, and she was like Juan, and I was like Juan, and she was like 
What? And I was like, I forgot that. I forgot that happened. It was so embarrassing. And then I realized that his, I didn't know his name. So I realized his name was Juan and I was like, <laughs> he was the cute one too. I, I, I think one of my most embarrassing, I don't really have any. We've got some embarrassing pictures of your ass, and yeah. Yeah, but aside from that, like, I don't know, nothing really that embarrassing happens to us when we're at Anime North. Really. Yeah, I guess maybe it wasn't so much embarrassing, but my arms breaking, that was kind of like, god damn it. Like, I feel like that was more of a, um, a problem for me than it was for you. <laughs> you were like, Ugh. I had to carry it. <laughs> and do you have any plans on going abroad? Yes. I want to. I mean, I want to, but is it going to happen? Do I have any plans for it? When I'm done school, I want to do a, I want to get my working holiday visa and I want to go to Japan for a year. I mean, I'd like to right now, like the program I'm in is for a bachelor's degree, which then that degree would allow me to like go teach with like a company abroad. But like, we'll see where that goes, to be honest. Uh, this one just makes me kind of laugh. Underscore Captain underscore Gray. Oh, mighty senpais, teach us how to be quiet so that we too can spread the doki dokis. Rar. I really hope that's not serious. I don't think it is. But to be kawaii, all you have to do is feel it in your heart. That's the worst thing I've ever said. I'm never saying anything like that again. Okay, so X kind. Kindachi. Oh, X Kindachi X. What's the most ambitious cosplay you'd want to do or want to try in the future? I would love to. Mm, that's a good question. Like, what's like a really... probably that character a hero sent me from Fire Emblem. That was really cute. The one with all the armor and she had her hair and it was like, I'll insert a picture over here. I can't even remember her name, that says something. But it was, she was really, really cute and I was like, wow. I wasn't saving to go to Japan. I and won't do it. In the ambitious cosplay, like something hard. Cause I had a lot of armor and that's a territory. Like every, we've gotten a few questions to be like, oh, do an armor tutorial. It's like, truthfully, we I've can't do a one. tutorial if we've never done armor. Oh, I'd really like to cosplay as that one from, from, um, Yu-Gi-Oh. You know the one with the mask and the big Oh waves? yeah. Wouldn't you also want to do Oscar? That's kind of ambitious. The thing is, it's just a uniform. Like, it wouldn't be that hard to make. Yeah, that's true. So, Evie X Kayla, for Fiona, could you see yourself being a J-Vlogger in the future? What about me, Evie? I want to be a J-Vlogger too. <laughs> no, no. Truthfully, I feel like Aaron and I both would love to. My my dream my biggest dream is that me and Fiona could live in Japan together. Yeah, I and know. We like we, be... we both talk like, oh, we want to live in Japan, but like ideally it would be great if we could go together. That's like what I want the most. Like to be honest, I'd be really lonely if I had to go to Japan by myself for a year. Like ideally, like like that would be my favorite thing. We we always talk about what our apartment would look like if we lived together. Whenever we go shopping, literally, I'm like Erin for a future apartment. <laughs> it's like a bowl, and she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like yes, yeah. It's like got cats on it. We're like. Like that's something that I, like I would really want to do. So Skeleton Soda asks, do you like any musicals? And the answer is yes, of course. I love musicals. I love all the classic of musicals, like Sound of Music, Grease. Oh yeah, what am I talking about? <laughs> I was gonna say, you like you like musicals. I also really like Wicked, um, Legally Blonde, the musical. Like I haven't seen Hamilton yet, and I really want to. I listened to the soundtrack though; it's really good. Yeah. So the obsessive one asked, have you ever done a cosplay skit? And if not. Would you ever consider doing one? I love you so much. Uh, we love, love you too. You too. And to just be short on this, no, we have not. We have considered it though. We want to go to the World Cosplay Summit, so we we're going to have to do it eventually if yeah. we do end up doing it. And we that. did talk about doing one for Chihiro and Lin. Yeah, we just couldn't. It was very together. like it kind of came and it went. We couldn't think of like a like a definitive idea to build it on, so it was like hard. Okay, so this one's really cute. Ah, free burnout. Asked, how long have you been friends? It's gotta be like five or six years now. Maybe five? Coming up on six. Five. This will be the fifth year. Feels, so feels like a long ass time. <laughs> <laughs> It's too long. There's not. We know everything about each other. It's there's boring. Not, there's nothing we can don't do. Don't do it. Do not recommend. Don't make friends. Ten out of ten would it. not do it again. I'm just kidding. I love. Erin said if she became a cat, cat groomer, she she'd shave my cat for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. There's a much more context behind that story. I didn't just say like, hey Fiona, if I become a cat groomer, I'll shave Mr. Jones for free. There's more context. <laughs> Trust. Okay, so this one I also really like. Kiwi period or Kiwi dot zero zero one asked, okay, kind of deep question, but 
what do you guys plan to do in the future? Like, what do you guys want to do with your lives? What are you going to school for? Any dreams? I love you guys, by the way. Oh, we love you, we too. We love you, too. Thank you. And wow. this one we kind of touched upon earlier questions, I guess. Like, yeah. live in Japan, maybe teach abroad. I'm, I'm studying tourism right now. Like, ideally, I'd love to be, a, like, a, a tour guide. Don't really want to be a travel agent, but that might be something I might have to do for a little while. Yeah, to get to the next bit. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, they don't really coincide. Oh. But, like, I, but, Just like, I need money. Yourself. Yeah, I need money, so I might have to do that anyway. Anyway, but to be honest, I just really want to live comfortably when I get older and be happy and like I I'd love to go further in YouTube like right now it's difficult But I'd love to start taking YouTube seriously and I'd future. love to get like, a good camera out and I'd love to make huh I want to I really want to do that. Too. Yeah, I mean right now it's hard But I think like as we get older maybe taking being more serious in YouTube would be something we could do um, I want to like I talked about this very briefly and it would probably be like way, way, way down the future, but I'd love to like sew like more professionally. Like, ooh, I just pulled out my hair. Like I was tweeting about it. I was like, what if I started a clothing line for plus size girls and tall girls? And I was like, that'd be fun. But like, I don't know. Those are like dreams and like aspirations that are like way up there, but. Okay, so Ashley Bob's asked, notice me simple. Notice. <laughs> Don't call us that I love guy. you so much. Okay, so if you could have any hair color slash cut for a day and the next morning you'd wake up with your normal hair color, what would you have? Okay, I want asymmetrical bangs and like asymmetrical hair and like, really? yeah, I can go for one day. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's true, that's true. That'd be awesome. And like something wild, like, like I want like dark purple hair or something. I feel like, or pink. I'd want ALB hair. But like, I feel like I could live with that. Like I would, I could just do that myself. I know, but I want something I would never do. Like something you would, you 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 consider, but you'd never actually do it. Because I would it's too still. Crazy. That's still like I'm. I'm very like scared of like attention. I feel like that would cause me attention. So that would be like a big thing for me. But like I would do that. I, like, I want lovely Laura hair. She's really cute. I love green hair. I want my hair. Like I want my hair to look exactly like that. Will underscore O underscore whips. <laughs> whips. Whips. <laughs> what are your feelings about? Aquas. Aqua. Aqua. There you go. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> and who's your best girl? This is a love life question. I have a lot of complicated feelings about Aqua because well, we gotta like, make it. I'm gonna talk over. I'm not gonna go over. I'm not. Gonna... Okay. I was like. So um, I like Aqua. My best girl is probably either Daya or Yoshiko or Kanan or Yo. This is the problem I have because I like them all, but there's also like they're not flawed characters, so they're like kind of boring and I don't know. They're too good. They're not relatable. My favorite character is It's Joke. That's Mari. Hey, it's Joe. I know, I know her name, but like, I just like her. <laughs> Royally underscore revamp asks, out of the characters you've cosplayed or go on a cosplay, what do you think matches your personalities the most? Grell. <laughs> <laughs> what? Grell? You're not Max. I, I think you're more, I think for you, well, I think it'd be easier if we do it like to each other because I feel like I can't accurately I, think I still feel like for me coming up Sailor Jupiter I also think you're also really like Mookie personally because you're cute and you got them eyebrows I don't know <laughs> just I, I guess I guess maybe Mookie and maybe Sailor Jupiter just because I really relate to Sailor Jupiter she's very I, like, I also think I'm pretty similar to Sailor Moon <laughs> To be honest, I feel like I don't like her, but I, I, don't, I don't not like her, but oh, she's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. my favorite. I also really, I also think like maybe it's hard because anime characters, especially anime girls, are such like idealistic, way out of perspective. Like they're so not flawed, or like if they are, it's like cutely flawed. I'm not really. And it's like hard to relate. To I like Ginkgo. Uh. Just like. <laughs> But yeah, probably Sailor Jupiter, maybe at the moment. I don't think really anyone in cosplay is like me. Like even Sailor Jupiter is like a long shot. Cause like yeah, I'm tall. I think if you and like mind I like and Sailor Jupiter. I like my friends and I'm very like. But she's also much more like tomboy and like tough. Yeah, friends. that's the thing. She's like, very girly. I'm gonna beat you up. Which I am very protective of my friends. I'm like I'm gonna fight them. She always says that. I will fight them if you attack my friends. But yeah keep thinking and I really can't think of like you're like Ellie I feel like I thought of that and I was like no she's too <laughs> sophisticated and she's like ah dance ballet and I'm like oh mm -hmm. I'm actually mm -hmm. cosplay Nico this anime north you think you're like I'm Nico? like Nico I love idols okay well yeah. I'm not that crazy but I, I was like, gonna say I was like I feel like you're like a tone down I am a tone I'm not like crazy like I'm, I'm pretty I think I'm actually pretty similar to Nico that's why I like her so much 
So Lay Little Lovely asks, will you gals be having a meet and greet type thing at Anime North this year? Sure. If that's what you want to call it. Last year it was like whoever shows up and we might we bring just Timbits the and then we didn't bring Timbits because the line was too long and we're like, we just sat in the grass and we're like, hi. Okay, so Lay Little Lovely also asks, what was your most popular cosplay? This, this is like, a, this is a tough one. I feel like it's a little bit more tough to answer, but together I'm pretty sure our most popular cosplay was, was Pantheon Stocking. Was Stocking. Yeah. Here's a picture. Jay. Oh, wait. What? Okay. Okay. Post, post. Hina Hanna. Post 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 shy Hannah. Post shy Hannah asked, have it have either of you read the Drama Con series? And if so, which character? Okay, I honestly cannot remember for the life of me the characters, but I have read the Drama Con series. I remember finding it in my library and I was like, oh, Is it yeah. a shoujo? It is the kind of I don't read shoujo, really, so no, I haven't. G Dokage asks, who is your bias in shiny? The answer is Onyo. I love my sweet onion on you. Yes, my son. Lozy underscore Luzy asks, would Louise. you guys ever, okay, whatever. <laughs> would you guys ever consider going to a British convention? If so, who would you cosplay? What are those British cosplays again? Those British conventions, there's two of them. MCM? I thought you said British cosplays. I, I did like, say British I cosplays. don't know. British conventions. Um, there's MCM, and then what's the other one? Ooh, oh, it's like in August or something, or like you know what I'm talking Abby about. Went yeah, to it. I want to go to those ones. That's like pretty much the only reason why I want to go to those conventions is because I want to meet Abby Pop. I would, yeah, and like the whole like and Kimono Tyler. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. I would be like, ah, because I really love. I mean, we'd them. love to go to a British convention, but like cost wise, yeah, like unless they're flying us out, which that will never Or like happen. we just happen to be in England when it happens. <laughs> okay, and then this one is the last one. Foeb Electroid, how- That's Phoebe! God damn it. <laughs> Phoebe <laughs> underscore Elect- Phoebe. Phoebe. Fiona creates her own language. <laughs> Phoebe <laughs> underscore Electroid asks, how old were you when you first discovered anime? I think I started watching anime when I was like six or seven. I started watching it unconsciously when I was like six like, or seven, yeah, like, but like consciously understanding what it seven. was. I was about in grade seven, grade six. I was like in grade seven. I remember because my friend brought, or not my friend, this guy was never my friend, but he he brought a Inuyasha manga to school and, and I like, saw it and I was like, holy shit, I remember watching this as a kid. Holy crap. I just remember Fruits Basket, reading the mangas in grade six in class secretly, hoping my teacher wouldn't know. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that is all for our Q and A. We still pretty much read all of them. So, yeah, um, we hope you enjoyed. Sorry if we didn't get to your question, but, you know, time. We read them all. Damn. Boof. So, yeah, that's it, pretty much. All right, so this is what you say. Oh, yeah, don't forget no, to. No, you say thank you so much for watching. Oh, yeah, okay. thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And follow us on our Instagram, Twitter. Facebook and everywhere else the description tells you to go Woo! and if you want to participate in our next Q&A you need to follow us on Twitter and Instagram Woo! go <laughs> this flies off anyway bye bye